Looking for a way to get healthy? The Chef You and I program has the answer. Catherine Raker and chefs from around the nation will teach even the most inexperienced how to cook. Come into their kitchen and watch them take ordinary foods with loads of calories and fat and turn those foods into healthier dishes. You will be the first to get tips and ideas on foods that are easy to prepare. Now let's join Catherine and today's chef and learn how to make today's recipes. Hi, this is Catherine Raker of The Chef You and I, and I want to welcome you to The Chef You and I today in our new kitchen, and I want to introduce my friend, Chef Marty Schulte. <laughs> well, Chef's going a little bit far, okay. chaos, but... <laughs> but you're a great cook. Assistant. <laughs> great cook that has been with me on many, many shows, mm -hmm. and this is our first show in our brand new kitchen. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. Do you love, love it? it? I love, love it. it. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. we are also going to talk a little bit later about how we're going to do our table and chairs for guests mm -hmm. the val spark company gave us paint to do an old it could be old it could be you know it could be new and you're not liking the color of it <laughs> yeah. but it's yeah. really easy paint mm -hmm. that you can redo a chest table chairs whatever and that's what we're going to do, do it so we'll do that later in the show okay so but what we're going to do today is some things for the holidays and, you know, I love acorn squash, don't you? You know what? Here's an interesting thing. I've never had acorn squash, so I'm really excited about this because this is something I probably wouldn't buy at the store because I've never had it. I don't know how to cook it or anything, so I'm excited to learn how to do this. It's kind of yeah. a nutty squash, and mm -hmm. it has a really nut, nutty kind of flavor. Oh, which I and like. And it's so mm -hmm. simple to do. And what we're going to do, the first thing that we're going to do is I need you to seed those first. Okay, well, that I know I can probably do. Yeah, you can seed yeah. those first for me. And I'm going to cut up uh, this onion. I'm not going to use all of it. I'm just going to use a piece of it. And we're going to use... Um, actually, pork, Italian pork sausage in this recipe, mm. which I'm really, really excited about. And we're going to use quinoa, quinoa, which is good. so good for you. And if you've never tried it, it's really simple to make. You just boil it. You actually, you wash it until it's clear. While it's dry, you do it in a strainer. And then what you do... This is the cool part. Then you put it in two cups of water, two and a half cups of water, and you boil it until it's done, maybe about 10 or 15 minutes at the most. But watch it because it can burn very easy. <laughs> I almost did that today. So that's kind of what we're doing. Well, here's my recipe, which I really, really like. It's just chopped up um, wonderful onions, and we're going to add that to our s sausage, right? Um, actually, some people use chorizo, mm. but because it's got garlic in it, and I can't eat garlic, and I want to taste it today, so we're going to do that. So we're going to brown these onions up and make them kind of translucent. Okay. And then what we're going to do is, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to take these wonderful squash, and after you're done with that, what we're going to do is you're going to take it, and I've got two tablespoons of olive oil here okay and you're going to spread it around all of the acorn squash okay 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 because then we're going to bake it and these this part of it goes face down onto the onto the wonderful baking pan that we have right here and then we're going to bake that for about 20 minutes okay and then it will be tender and then you can actually add our filling that we're going to add oh, next. So if you okay. would do this yeah. first. Yeah, this reminds me, um, it has a consistency, a little bit of pumpkin. I'm so excited to do this because, like I said, this is something I normally wouldn't buy because mm -hmm. I would be intimidated by what to do with it. Do you so. know how much that was? A pound? 40 cents a pound. Really? Oh, yeah. It's how really good. How expensive is that? No, that's yeah. so good. So get it all the way around there. Nice. And then, then you can just... The inside, or would you I do put a little bit in the little inside, bit on the inside, and, then, inside. and just face, put it down face, face down, down. Is how they go. Okay, right. Great. And then you're going to put them in the oven, and you're going to put them in the oven for 20 minutes Oop. at 425. Oh, okay. okay. So that's higher than normal. Yeah, than well, I would that's, that's going to cook them really fast. Yeah. Okay. And they're going to be tender, but just a little bit of you want a little bit of um, not 
so soft that you can't put the filling in. Mm -hmm. Okay. But they're so delicious. Actually, I love them. Orange vegetables are so yeah, good for you, Yeah, they are too, good for so. you. You know, and I like spaghetti squash. Have you ever tried spaghetti now squash? No, that I have, and I do like that. Did you do yeah. like that? Yeah. So okay, what we're so going to use for here. our filling is some <clears throat> sweet Italian sausage. So I want you to, to put those in the oven. And get them we in. preheated the oven to 425. Put them in there, oh, and in a few minutes, they'll be done. So in the meantime, what we're going to do, Marty, mm. is we are going to um, take our skillet. Hold on a minute. We just want to move this out of the way, yeah. if you'll put that okay. out of the way. And then we're going to take this over here, okay. and then we're going to brown these in the, um, the electric skillet. I'm going to turn that back on All right. and just brown these babies up. You're and ready? it makes it really simple. i got to turn it on. Hold on. Okay. All right. So it should go, go on there. Go ahead and get those. And things. actually, I found this wonderful recipe, actually. I changed it a little bit in the Good Housekeeping uh, fall issue. And mm. we're, we're making a whole bunch of different things out of it. I made a berry berry pie. Oh, oh was it good? <laughs> so our next show, we'll do that one. If you like berries, that is. So yeah. we'll just oh. cook that for a few minutes. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese, shredded Parmesan cheese to it, and our quinoa. And the quinoa is right over here. And we're going to add got that. that already all done. Now, believe, oh, believe it or not, Mart, this <laughs> is one cup. Wow. That's, That's a lot. A lot. <laughs> Don't you think? So <laughs> we're going to do lot. one cup of this. And I have quite a few of these because we're going to serve these for a bunch of people. You oh. could do this for Thanksgiving. How pretty would that or be? Or yeah. Christmas because Thanksgiving is past. Yeah. So now we're going to do Christmas. And this could be a nice Christmas you know, would that be a holiday? beautiful dish to take with you? Oh, yeah, that this would be, would be great. It would be kind of impressive to take. Yeah, everybody yeah. would love you if you did that. <laughs> Don't you think? Now that I know how to do the Now you know squash. how to do it, right? <laughs> so, and you know, the, the spices are already in the sweet Italian sausage, so mm. I'm going to add a little bit of cheese to this. Mm. And then uh, I'm going to put some cheese on top of. Oh, okay. So, because you're going to bake these again, okay? All righty. So... Now, these recipes will be up on our website. And you know we're on the Foodie TV Network yes. now. And you can go Hi. up and register. Oh, okay. And when you go on the foodietv.com, you just go to the right side and register. Hmm. And then you can ask the chefs or anything. And then you go to the chef and host, and you'll see me up there. Uh. Just scroll down, and you'll see us, and then you see everything. But you can also go on to our Chef You and I site. And we're on TBN. We're we're on um, TBN. Okay, we're on so many different channels mm -hmm. now, which is and people call me up and say, "I saw Marty." <laughs> <laughs> they so saw Marty assisting. <laughs> no, 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 no. You've done a lot. I, well, I think it's kind of nice to be with somebody who really knows how to cook too, you know, and tries different things. Because I tend to get stuck in a rut a little bit with things, you know, uh -huh. making the same thing. So it's so nice to be out side of that to see other things and how they're made you know? right you know quinoa <coughs> is you know i learned from another chef how to make quinoa mm. and mm. at first i wasn't sure if i liked it or not but you know i love it and i love couscous mm. do you have you tried that i have to have that yeah. that's really good so mm -hmm. what do your kids really like more than anything else mart to eat normally mm -hmm. oh um you know they like stews they like chilies they mm -hmm. like um they cringe every time I say we're having chicken. Oh, not chicken again. Well, I love chicken. So, Do you know, have you, know. you done it with Parmesan cheese and, and mayonnaise? Have you done that mm -mm. with the Hellman's mayonnaise? All uh. you do is you take your chicken breast, you, you really bang it down and make yeah. sure it's real thin. Then you take and put uh, a couple tablespoons of Hellman's mayonnaise mm -hmm. in, a, in a cup like this. Yeah. And then you add Parmesan cheese to it. And then you spread it on top of the breast. Oh, wow. Put it in the oven. It's delicious. Oh, Your I bet girls that's love tender it. too. And oh. it's really tender. Oh, it keeps yum. it really moist. Mm. So what are what are you making for the holidays for your for your well, family? Well, I'm going very traditional. Um, we always make a turkey, uh -huh. um, and I cook my turkey upside down actually. Upside so down? I have always cooked it upside down so that all the juices stay in the breast meat because my kids don't really oh. like the dark meat. I like the dark meat. 
but that way it stays really nice well, and we're juicy. Well, gonna, we're going to try that this year. How about and that? And it's just, you know, my mom had a recipe for bread dressing that I still use. You know, mm-hmm, you get out mm-hmm. and you get the bread the night before and get it all. Do it all. Yeah. I do it with raisins and everything else. Oh, okay. Now, I don't put anything really, a little bit of sage in mine, you know, okay. that. Okay. And cranberries, mashed potatoes, you know, the whole nine yards. Dessert's my favorite, so. Well, know. we'll talk about that <laughs> on the next break. But we have to take a break, mm-hmm. and we'll be right back on The Chef You and I Great. with Catherine Rager and Marty Schultes. And we're baking and cooking for the holidays.